welcome back to my channel. So today I am bringing you a back to school inspired makeup look, something really simple and easy to create as well as being super affordable. I'm using all products from the drugstore or if you're from England like me, like Superdrug and Boots. So really easy to get your hands on. If you wanna learn how to create this makeup look, then please keep watching. I can't believe so the first thing I'm going to be doing is priming my face and this is the L'Oreal Lumi Magique Primer. Just putting a pump of that onto my skin. You've got to know that this ain't living We could run Next up I'm going to be using the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum Foundation and applying it with a Zoeva 104 Buffer Brush. So I'm just going to do a couple of pumps of this onto the back of my hand and then buff it into the skin. I like this foundation because it's a medium to buildable coverage so a thin layer you can still see your skin underneath it which is good for school you don't want to be too caked in makeup next is eyebrows I'm going to be using the brow archery and hot chocolate from soap and glory and the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper. You can use one or the other or whatever you have. This is just the stuff I like to use at the moment and I'm just gonna be filling them in as usual. I do have a brow tutorial on this and I can link them down below. This is a new product for me I'm gonna be trying out but sometimes I find it's helped to just set them in place so they last a bit longer. I never thought this would be our end, But it's nothing new Next is eyeshadow and I'm going to be priming my eyes using this NYX eyeshadow base. Next I'm using the Nudes palette by Maybelline and taking this shade here on a pencil brush and just highlighting my inner corner and my brow bone. Next, on a Sigma E40 fluffy crease brush, I am taking this shade here and just lightly buffing it into the crease. Then I am taking this pigment or Dazzle Dust by Barry M in the shade, you can't really tell, I think it's shade 39, but it's basically just a light champagne shade. I'm just applying that all over the lid.
like so. And you could just leave it there if you wanted to, but I want to add a bit more kind of drama just because if it's for your first day back, you want to make an impression. So I'm next taking this dark brown shimmery shade from the same palette and just using that to further deepen up the crease and taking it over the lid as well. Then going back in with my Sigma brush to just soften out the edges. Now normally this would be where I personally would apply liquid eyeliner but I wanted to do something different just because I know not everyone can do liquid eyeliner and some schools may not let you wear liquid eyeliner but I wanted to create something a little bit softer. So I'm taking a pointed pencil brush. This is the Zoeva pencil brush number 230 and just mixing this matte brown and black shade from the same Maybelline palette on the end of my brush and just pressing it against the lash line like so like that and then creating a really tiny wing which is quite it makes it easier when you've got a pointed brush to do this and don't worry if it's not perfect because we can always clean it up with concealer afterwards. So I'm just extending it towards the end of my brow and then bringing it back in. Like so, it just kind of creates a softer Next, uh, this is totally optional, I just have very straight eyelashes, so I'm going to be curling them, just using any eyelash curlers. These are the half eyelash curlers from MAC, just because they're the only ones that I own. Then I am applying the Rimmel Wake Me Up Mascara. And that's the eye makeup basically done. Back onto the face, I'm gonna be using the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer under my eyes. This is in the shade True Ivory. And also just around my nose. I'm also gonna use this to tidy up my eyeshadow slightly, just like so. And the same on this side. I'm gonna buff that in using my Sigma Soft Blend Concealer Brush number F64. To set that all in place, I'm going to be using the Rimmel Clear Complexion Powder and this is in the shade Translucent, just to set the concealer and the rest of my face. And I'm going to be using a Zoeva Luxe Cheek Finish Brush to do so. To finish off my eyes, I'm used to going back into the Maybelline palette and taking this colour here and just running it underneath my eyes. To finish off my face, I'm using the Maybelline Master Sculpt and I'm going to use the bronzer and the highlighter from this and I think this is the shade light to medium so I'm just taking this shade here on a Zoeva Luxe Face 109 paint brush.
Then on a Real Techniques setting brush, just taking the highlight shade. For a bit of colour on the cheeks, I am going to be taking Luminoso by Milani on the same brush that we used to apply the powder. Now for the lips, just something quick and easy. I am taking this, this Maybelline lipstick in the shade 842 Rosewood Pearl, which is basically just like a clear wearable nude shade. Then applying this strawberry lip balm from the body shop on the top. So this is the finished look, I hope you guys like it. Something um, obviously a lot more simple than you're probably used to seeing on my channel, but since it's back to school you don't want to go over the top, but you just want something that's going to be relatively simple but wearable at the same time. I hope you guys like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up, uh, make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and snapchat i don't know if you guys know that i have a snapchat it's rach leary and so is my instagram but my twitter is rach underscore leary but yeah um thank you so much for watching and until next time i'll see you soon